Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. Republican Mike Braun is now Senator-elect from Indiana, beating out incumbent Democratic Senator Joe Donnelly. Well, Eyewitness News Sam Neff visited Braun's hometown earlier today. The story from your local election headquarters. I'm here outside Meyer Distributing in Jasper, Indiana, and just inside the building here is the office of newly elected U.S. Senator and Jasper native Mike Braun. Now, as Braun prepares to take his new office, I learned more about the man from the people who know him best. Nick G, as he prefers to go by, is the vice president of sales and marketing for Meyer Distributing. He's been with the company for 20 years and grown close with the CEO. Very close. I've actually uh, was a family friend in high school with, with some of his sons. Grew up with the boys. Mike is exactly how he's described himself over the last 14 and a half months. He did call me this morning about 8 o'clock and, and we got to share a, a nice moment. While Braun's company has no doubt been the source of much of his success, it's also been the source of criticism with allegations of importing from China and the mistreatment of employees. Something this employee denies. It's absolutely false and unfortunately that's what politics has came down to is the negative ads and stuff and unfortunately sometimes you have to fight fire with fire and uh, Mike was drug into that. That. Braun's roots go even deeper at finishing touches downtown, where store manager Gina Shirley has worked under owner Maureen, Braun's wife, for 39 years. People have been in just so excited that Mike is, is taking this challenge, and um, everybody knows he's the right man. Well, maybe not everybody, but one Jasper voter is feeling hopeful. It was good. I voted for him, so I thought it was a good thing. Good businessman. Jasper is a pretty uh, robust community, and... Uh, He's added to that, I believe. I'm told Braun is heading back home to Jasper to relax and possibly do some hunting and fishing before heading off to Washington, D.C. In Jasper, Sam Neff, Eyewitness News.